everyone, welcome back. Uh, thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It is always such an honor to come up with these amazing concepts for you. Uh, in today's episode, neon colors are my inspiration. And I'm gonna create uh, just one arrangement, or actually one little tablescape for you. I'm not doing three different types of arrangements. Um, I didn't wanna complicate this. Uh, I wanted to make it quick and easy and fun. Uh, and playful at all at the same time um, and using different types of flowers you, you know using dyed roses uh, green hydrangeas calla lilies carnations and this was a tinge of red and I sprayed it a little bit of a hot pink raspberry color I have some fun elements I have glasses that are wood cutouts that I sprayed black um, we've got beautiful stars some shoelaces it looks like shoelaces to me they're just uh, a piece of twine and neon colors and then i have vinyl um, this is transfer uh, vinyl for fabric but you could easily use this as uh, uh, you know uh, to cover vases so let's go back into this uh, again if it's the first time you are tuning in thank you make sure you follow me on all social media which is on the screen and uh I thank you for your time. I thank you for your time. Okay, so I'm gonna take three cylinders that I've filled with water already. I'm gonna pick three random colors. After cutting these and wrapping it around the glasses, I'm gonna add more embellishments to this. Now, you see these little um, stickers. They're not stickers, they're tapes, sorry. It's gonna hold the, the vinyl together, but it's also gonna give it some character. And again, just this is really colorful and playful, so I wouldn't worry about colors too much. It's all gonna go together eventually. I always cut out more than I need because I'm always afraid of not having enough material. But for some reason, didn't account for this one. And then I'm gonna take my stars that I have, the stickers that I have, and I'm gonna randomly put them around the vase on the vinyl. There's something really fun about like doing these craftsy things. Just I feel like I'm a kid again when I get to be playful, I get to be creative. I would probably want, I would use one of this um, page and do it for all the, this, you know, use all the stars on this page for one cylinder. And, you know, I can cut it, I can cut it and make it shorter if I wanted to, but why would I waste all that vinyl if I can use it? Can I get the glue stick, the glue gun? I'm gonna do the last one. I wanna be a little bit playful. I don't wanna use the stars. Uh, the, the glasses that, I, that are sprayed, I'm gonna do kind of like around, I'm gonna glue it around the vinyl. Okay, now that we're finished with this, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take some of this cord in neon color and I'm gonna wrap around it without really paying attention to it, just to give it a little bit of interesting conceptual design. I'm gonna cut 
cut it up and bring out some water and fill this up. And it would be nice if I put water, not around it, but inside the container. And now I'm going to take just one of each for right now. I'm cleaning out the greenery. And I'm going to cut and I'm going to do one hydrangea on this one. One green hydrangea on this one. Another in the third container. And I'm going to take two calla lilies in each one. Maybe we should do three in each one. And then I have the carnation and then I have the rose. This is a good amount to do. And it's fun because it's all different types of flowers. Now I'm going to take my carnations, maybe two stems of each. And I'm, I'm not trying to do any design to this whatsoever. I'm not doing anything intentionally. I'm just letting the flowers kind of flow. The goal is to make sure that the stems are inside the water. Then everything else kind of happens. I think we're gonna do three of the, the pink one again. Look how that's coming all together. The colors are coming together beautifully. Stunning. Stunning. I mean, imagine this is in a black room or in a white room with all these colors. You can easily do this for an adult party as well as a young kid's party. And it works. I am going to reflex the blue roses. They are tinted, so um, I might get some coloration on my fingers, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to clean. I didn't dye this. I bought it dyed, but you can easily dye this too. It just takes a long period of time. Um, and sometimes you think it's more cost effective for you to do it, but actually it's less expensive if you just have it done already for you. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to reflex this just so you can see that vibrant, like electric blue color. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to cut it. And this is probably going to be my highest of all flowers. Look at that. And whatever I have here, right, is that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to cut the stem. And I'm not doing, oh, two in here, one in here. They're all going to be in a one row, so it doesn't even matter. Now, the thorns, sometimes they have a lot. Of, some of these had thorns. That's why I cleaned it off. But if they don't have thorns like this, you can do it with your fingers, your hand. You should have to be really careful. The thicker the stem is, more likely they're going to be a little bit more thorny. But they're genetically growing so many beautiful things nowadays that they're taking all the properties of a rose and uh, growing it the way it needs to be grown, right? Without fragrance, color, longevity, it all changes the properties of a natural genetics. Like I said, you can do this in a white room and the colors can pop off, or you do this in a black room and then add all those like strobes and neon lights and all that stuff. Black light would be fantastic even in this.
Hey guys, um, so now that I finished the piece, uh, neon colors were my inspiration. You can see we only used maybe three or four different types of flowers, the roses, calla lilies, carnations, and hydrangea, which is four types of flowers. Um, with these cute little elements that we use from the vinyl, um, uh, you know, vinyls to the neon colored strings to, to the stars that you can find at a craft store. You can scale this down or even put this in a bigger scale. Uh, this would look good in, in a multiple cold rooms like white or black or even colorful room in its section. Um, it can look amazing. Again, I thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video inspired you to do something more creative on the next, uh, next project that you have. Um, again, you see all my social media, make sure you comment, share these videos, um, and like, uh, hopefully like them, um, not dislike them. And, uh, uh, have a wonderful day and, uh, I'm very grateful. Peace out guys.